What's up, everybody? Welcome to the final review of the last episode of WandaVision. With me, as always, is my fellow Marvelous Knights. Hanging out with me is my man, Seth. What is up, Seth? Say it ain't so, man. Just say it ain't so. I know. I'm kind of sad that it's over. I don't want it to be over. It was going... The story was so great, and, and I just... Yeah, I, I just didn't want it to end. We want more WandaVision, damn it! <laughs> <laughs> also with me is the Raging Mando back after... a short hiatus but he's back what's going on frankie what's up fellas Yo, how you doing man glad they wrapped it up i'm ready to get on to the next thing missed you last week <laughs> yeah i'm glad yeah, i missed it too man that's Scoop. the best part of the week right yeah, yeah. the pro the prodigal feloni has returned yeah, yeah. gotta have, <laughs> gotta, have <laughs> gotta have scoop here yeah, yeah I know. it's the wife's 50th birthday so we had to take a week off and hang out true that's cool that's what we should call you. That's what we should call you on this on the show now. You should have like your name in the corner, and we call you Scoop McGiggles. Scoop McGiggles. Scoop McGiggles. <laughs> I'll get a kilt. I'll get a kilt. Yeah. Hey everybody, <laughs> my name is Scoop McGiggles, and I'm here to say. <laughs> and we got the wise old wizard in the house. The Craig is with us. Yes, 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 yes. Got you this time, right? The, yeah, <laughs> the the Craig. For the first time, we did not get "Please Stand By" at the end. So. Yeah, right. You saw that. Yep, first time. <clears throat> you know. Yep. Could have said so. thank you for joining us or something. Like that. So thank you for tuning in. Yeah, yeah. What did you guys think about this last episode? It was I good. Liked it. Um, I liked it. I felt I felt it left it left a few questions. Mm -hmm. Um, not not a lot, but 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 enough to make you wonder what direction everything is going to go in now which obviously we can only speculate from from here moving forward but mm -hmm. um overall pretty good um again some questions but we'll dive more into that as we go on with the discussion right That's fantastic it. loved it loved it loved it if you take out you know what everybody put expectations into it that the writers never put there you know mm -hmm. So we kind of overhype things and put, you know, theories there or whatever. But if you just take it just as what the writers were trying to accomplish, they nailed it. Yeah. I think they do like parents, right? They, you think you know what you want, but really they know. Right. <clears throat> I mean, right. to me, and I feel like going forward, this is how origin stories should be told through this. Yes. Medium. I think and yeah. it should be done like that so you can get, you know, a healthy dose of what's going on in the background and then, you know, keep the movies for the bigger action part. I, I, I agree with that. Nice. I agree with yep. that completely. Yeah, yep. Great, great, great episode. I, I loved it from the beginning to the end. There was nothing about this I would ever change. And now that I got exactly everything that I wanted, the rest of everything that I saw was absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Every, now you take it as a whole. I was like, yes. <laughs> this is this was what I wanted. This is perfect. Um, before we, we get three, too much, yeah, three minutes but, in, and I told, looked at the wife. I said, "George is getting his action," and we both yeah, laughed. Yeah. <laughs> I was so happy. I was so happy. It's like get him. And I, was, and I, I love when they pick up right where the last one left off. They did. Yeah. I mean, they did exactly that. Before we get too much into it, for those of you guys who tune into the show every week, I just want to say thanks for hanging out with us for the last nine weeks. It's been a hell of a journey to watch the show, uh, and we're going to be continuing it. We got next week with the, um, they're going to be make, having the making of WandaVision, and then the week after that, you know, we get the Birdman and the, uh, and the Frozen the bird, guy. The, the Birdman <laughs> and the Frozen guy. I was going to say, I was going to, I was going to say we get, we get, we, we get, we get Filoni, Filoni and the Winter Soldier. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I'm looking forward to Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I think it's going to yeah. be badass, especially after this. And uh, so, yeah, definitely keep tuning in. We're going to keep doing these reviews and we're going to keep having the reactions. Uh, maybe even more stuff. It's because there's also other TV shows out there that we, that I'm actually getting into now, like the Superman TV show, which is pretty dope. It's so, awesome. Yeah. So yeah, we, check we, that we, out. Go watch that. I'll be happy if we if we can get maybe you know maybe not just this one, but maybe even probably possibly doing this twice a week. Plus, you know, with with the amount of different shows that are coming out soon. As long so, as Seth eats. I, yeah, I yeah, have we, a, I have a, I have a small I have a small gripe about the Superman show, but we're not going to talk. About yeah, we're not going to get into the Superman show here. We're just going <laughs> to talk about WandaVision, but we'll get all around that. So. Um, where we got? We start off right where the last one ends off with Wanda and uh, Agatha getting ready to, to duke it out. And she's and choking, they, the, choking the kids. Choking and, the kids and being a ruthless little bitch. 
<laughs> she uh, is heartless. Yeah, I really like the makeup mm. choice on her, though. You see how much her face changes yeah. between. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. And the hair yeah. is wilder, getting yeah. wilder, wilder. Yeah. I thought that was really good. There's a lot of costume designs in this that I liked, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, especially the one from the from the Halloween. But, you know, we won't go. <laughs> 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 um, the so the, the we, we find out for certain for certain that the reason why that that uh, Agatha is there is to try to drain uh, Wanda's abilities from her and become the all powerful witch that she wants to be <clears throat> or maybe just keep herself young and pretty. Who knows? Um, and. And then the and then I, and then we you saw when when they when she dropped the car on her I was like yes we had a car drop on somebody I was like I said yep. that in the last episode I want something to, it wasn't the right person but yeah you said like, Hayward yeah. but Hayward yeah. <laughs> that worked we, too we, we, yeah <laughs> we had that we had that we had that like quick little like um, nod to uh, Wizard of Oz mm. where yeah. she like looks under the car I was waiting for the the feet to curl curl, to curl back right. to curl back up but yeah. yeah obviously that didn't happen but still a good a good good way to pay homage to it in a roundabout yep. way if people caught that. Yeah, but, but yeah, that was that that was that was pretty cool. Very good. Uh, Paul Bettany appears as the White Vision, which man, he he plays the evil Vision really well too. I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. good job for in his acting, being able to play both uh, versions of that character. And I like so, the snarl that he has. You know, yes, uh, uh, I was about to say, uh, in a subtle voice change, just uh, yeah, change the voice inflection. Yeah, the yeah the White Vision sounded a little bit more robotic. Yeah. Than, uh, so soul, you know, obviously soulless. Vision. Yeah. Like yeah. soulless. Mm -hmm. Almost made me feel like <clears throat> like Seth was right at that moment and, and he could have been possibly uh, a version of Ultron, you know, the way he was acting. You know, especially like when, when he grabbed Wanda at first, like he put the, the one hand on her, it's like he recognized her sort of, like which which was uh, mm -hmm. which was cool. And then, you know, he grabs her by the head, I was like, Man, then you hear the cracking of the bone or or the starting like, call. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> you know, the skull. Yeah, was I was like, going. Is it going to be Spader's voice? And nope. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, and it did kind of keep you guessing on that whether Ultron right. was going to pop out. Yeah, right. and then uh, Good Vision or Fake Vision? I don't. I don't know what we're going to call them. Vision? We we'll call him Vision. He <laughs> called himself Conditional. Conditional Vision. Yeah. Yeah. He shows up finally. You know, he got past all the red lights and the and the kids and and everything. <laughs> Zooms in and gets right there, man. I was like, that was cool. Um, yeah, she tells yeah she tells the kids to go run into the house, go run into the house. Yeah, you know, and then you know, and the kids run into the house, and then you know, obviously the big battle commences between everybody. And but yeah, I like, but cool. I like the I like the thing that Craig posted in the in the group or posted on his YouTube page where he was like, "Oh, we're gonna fight for this town," and then they just go in opposite directions, right. and then, then it ends. Right, <laughs> we stand by. I was like, "That's great." <laughs> Stay tuned next season. Yeah, yeah, that that, that had that had me dying laughing. All right, mm -hmm. this is our home. Let's fight for it. And they just instead of fighting together, they just go. It's like perfect. They just go in like opposite directions. <laughs> the fight between Fish, with, with Vision and Vision that was that was great. A lot of good CGI with that. Um, and then you, you got the superhero landing. I, I knew Seth. When I saw that, I was like thought of Seth. The minute they landed, yeah, you it's knew like that superhero landing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. They tear uh, a lot of streets up with superhero landings. Yeah, yeah. they do. Right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Fuck you, sideshow. Your pictures are photoshopped. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, man, there's, you know, a, they, there's a new meme. There's a new meme for Craig for Craig to make. Right? They keep they keep those city workers working, man. They gotta constantly be fixing the streets. They must be pissed. With all the potholes that are left from, from uh, superhero landings. Oh man. Uh, so uh, and what was in that Winnebago? Yeah, right. <laughs> it exploded, <laughs> and it hit that from the back. It wasn't lab. like it hit from the front. It was, <laughs> yeah, that was the meth lab. <laughs> was that was that a nod to um, Breaking Bad? Right, Breaking right, Bad. right. <laughs> Walter Walter White comes out and he's like, "What the hell's going on? I'm just cooking meth in the back of my trailer. Why can't people mind their own business?" <laughs> Sorry, Frank. Yeah, I cut you off. Yeah, go ahead, man. No, that would be like uh, you. You were just here for uh, the Malcolm in the Middle. You're not here for Breaking Bad. Yeah, so go. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. The uh, uh, during the fight what? though, um, when Monica and fakes Quicksilver, the way he flicked her back. Yeah. But then when she pins him down, he can't do nothing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, no, no. You that. mean you mean you mean Ralph Boner? 
Ralph, Ralph. Boner. <laughs> that was great. The greatest, name, the greatest <laughs> name was ever good. in Marvel Cinematic Universe. <laughs> Ralph yeah. Boner. I like that he makes fun of it too. He's like Boner. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, the, so, so there is some fan, there is some fan theories about Ralph Boner. If I might be able to interject for a quick second. Oh, so please. in the begin in the beginning of um, WandaVision, they're talking about how um, uh, Agent Wu has a um, person in there under witness protection. Right. And I'm wondering if Ralph Boner is the person that's in witness protection. Yeah, because he had the headshot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Possible. Like he's trying to study who, who he's supposed to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, and he never, he's like, yeah, he's like, I never leave this place. And it wasn't even his house. He was up in the attic. He was in, up in some other, other person's attic. No, it was his house. His house because of the bills. Right, because of the bills. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So, you know, maybe he just, yeah, and he's like, oh, I never leave the house. Or he mm. said something like that. And, like, that's, you know, that that's probably what led people to believe that was like, okay, well, you know, for the people that were watching intensely, you know, to come up with that, that, that notion. Yeah, yeah, he said something to the effect of, he said, I stay here while the missus is out doing mischief or something. I remember yeah. what the, yeah. the line you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, which is the whole, but that, that leads kind of into the whole thing of what, what Agatha's doing, too. Was she was saying that, her, that that he was the husband and he always stays home. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That's out. what he's referring to, the, yeah. the missus, is what she's put in his yeah. head. Right. So it's his house. Uh, Monica says that. She says, she doesn't live here, you do. Right. So Agatha, Agnes overtook he, him yeah. because he was right next door to Wanda. Yeah. Right. So right. that's why she chose him. And then the abilities were given to him be- through that, that charm. Through the that necklace. Yeah, the necklace yeah. she had on him. Because yeah. the flick is not something that Quicksilver was ever able to do. He just was really fast. <clears throat> right? That flick. Well, yeah. no, he did. Well, he did. Fl- he did flick stuff like he moved like he, you know, like when he obviously because he was in such a like a I guess you want to call it like a speed loop or something like that. Like because he would, you know, like if you remember the scene in, um, you know, uh, uh, X-Men Days of Future Past or something like that when they go or I don't remember if it was Days of Future Past or it was which Days of Future X-Men, Past. Yeah, yeah. When he go. Yeah. When he goes into the prison to break out, break out Magneto. And everybody's shooting, and he's like moving the, you know, flicking the bullets, you know, aside while everybody's going around. So yeah, he does kind of maybe have that flicking ability through the speed power. Yeah, I mean, at least in in, in uh, X Men though, when he gets into that mode, it's like he he you see it jump into that whole force. Yeah, speed you force. Can yeah I don't want to call it fast. speed force. Yeah, here mm-hmm. it just seemed like he was just like you know normal speed, which seemed a little bit weird. Like you would think that he would have to like you know speed up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> That didn't happen. Maybe um, with the necklace, he didn't have to conjure anything. Else. Maybe. But then maybe. maybe she was using her power. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. So he's definitely not Quicksilver. Um, he's Ralph Boner. He's Ralph Boner. <laughs> Good name. <It> is. <laughs> said, somebody on the thing said, they set all this up and then made a D joke. <laughs> 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 I like it though, man. That was, yeah. that was good, man. Maybe chuckle. Yeah, it's uh, like Beth, Bethany's troll. I'm like, you got me. All right, we'll take it. Yeah, yeah. I laughed my ass off on that part though. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, it, where, what happens next? The uh, no, it's the, a no, the talk with uh, Wu, Johnny Wu, and uh, Hayward. Right. Their conversation. Right. That was great yeah. too. He's like, they'll be here within the hour. <laughs> so is the most useless thing in cinema is a pair of handcuffs because all you have to do is like breathe on them and you're out. Well, oh, he yeah. took the paper. Well, he took the paper. Clip I know, and, but like you know. everybody can do that. You yeah. know, it's like if you're in handcuffs, you're going to get out of them, you know. And when did like, he take the paper clip? Well, I saw him take was the was the was the phone. Right. Yeah, well, 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 he, well, yeah, but the paper clip was probably sitting on the desk when they when he grabbed the phone and you probably, ah, you know, obviously they didn't show issue. that. FBI issue. Issue. Yeah. It's FBI issue. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I would have been better if he did, if he did something else, like some you know some some trick where he moved his hands yeah, underneath I, them. Yeah, like, I wish he would have done like a like the magic Bruce like Lee a magic trick that like he got from the online school that Ant Man told him to go to. You know, oh, that's what like, he was how referring to. Like escape to. cuffs, you know. Yeah, but that's, that's what he was referring to. Learned, yeah, that he's yeah, learning yeah. all those tricks from that. He should have taken them off when they were linked together. Yeah, right. Uh, so that brings us back into into the the zone, and then uh, the was it uh, uh, Wanda gets into the center part of the town. She's yep. surrounded by all the people, 
and then uh, Agnes or Agatha. She is, wakes them all up. She starts right. to wake them up, and then tells her about the whole uh, Dark Hole Dark Home book. Yep, which, not Frankie, before. You were right about. Yep, and she drop name drops Sorcerer Supreme. So yep. mm-hmm. that was awesome. Yeah. Yep. So that's about the closest that we're going to get to Doctor Strange on the show. Yep. Um, but well, it gives you. I, would, I, would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go. Is. I wouldn't go that far. We had another Doctor Strange moment, but we'll talk about that later. Well, sort of. But yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah, but yeah. yeah but that's about the closest uh, as far as naming a character, I, I would think. But then she also talks about how um, uh, the the Scarlet Witch. There's like a whole chapter devoted to her in the book. Yep. Um, which didn't seem to have any words, but I saw was the picture. But it. it I did was, a lot was, of research on that book today, so we'll get to that at the end. Okay. Oh, scoops my giggles. <laughs> <laughs> when she woke up the town, man, I thought the town was gonna like jump her. Yeah, and I thought they were. Yeah. Like, yeah. So it shot my one theory that Dottie was somebody. She just Sarah. She, yeah. She's yeah. Nobody. Yeah. Turns out nobody. Be nobody. She's like. She's like. Is my daughter okay? Is so daughter that okay? means Marvel screwed up with their board because she was the only one not you know of, of the players. They just yeah. forgot to put her on there. Is all well, it amounts to. There's, there's probably a reason they did, did that because she really wasn't a main a main character in any of this. She was just I don't even think you would consider her like a uh, like even like a sub character. She was just a, a body there at one point and that had a few speaking lines and that was it. And maybe they feel like that wasn't rele- relevant enough to give her a place on the. Well, board. they put the mailman on the board. I'm saying, yeah, that guy has less of a thing than than Dottie did. Dottie, had, to me, had about the same level as uh, as as Monica did well, maybe on the show they, at that point. You know, well, you know how it is. They always like to give you. You know, they always like to throw in the mind fuck to make you, right. make you think. That's you what know? that is. Yeah, that was the whole. You know, I think they did exactly what they wanted. They got yeah. us talking. Troll, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and they knew it. Right. They're like, let's take yeah. this one out. Why? Because people are gonna like you know theorize. Make a that. deal out of that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got to think. Those people it. probably have some type of sense of humor. So, like, imagine us if we were able capable of writing stuff like that and we're sitting in a room we probably have bets on twitter about what it is they're going to talk about i bet they talk about what i put in there more than what you talked about right yeah (laughs) remember when Wu was writing is it scrolls or whatever they should have just put like troll stuff up there talk about dotty (laughs) (laughs) when's mephisto gonna show up (laughs) (laughs) just troll us right to our face (laughs) Uh, that was good that was good (laughs) um so then the the town is is uh, is is woken up. They're they're begging her to to let them leave, uh, and then uh, the kids uh, uh, sense it. The one uh, the one son I can never get their names right, man. Billy and and, uh, Billy and Tommy. Tommy. Billy and Tommy. Yeah, Tommy's Wiccan, right? Tommy, right? Yes. He senses that his mom's in trouble. They take off uh, to go to her, and uh, and then the town gets to to uh, Wanda, and Wanda starts to. Uh, explain to them that they're okay, that she kept them safe. Um, which I don't Hart, know why she was explaining to them that, though. Yeah, because Miss Hart was said, <clears throat> kill us. You yeah. Know, let, let us go or kill us. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, and then from, from there... That was after she did, she did that force choke on them. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. And, the and, then, and then after that, Agatha was like, oh, you should let them go free and all this other stuff. So she started to obviously break down the the barrier yeah. around the town, and it was and the then, point to get her to realize that her that her kids and 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 uh, vision are tied to it. Yeah. What did uh, uh, Agatha say? She said, uh, "Heroes don't torture people." Right. Right. Yeah. Something yeah. to that effect. That was a great line at that moment. I think it's just more getting in her head and letting her like putting her bringing her defenses down, so she uses more of her power, so she can suck it up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it was really just to to push her over that edge. Is because yep. like at this point she didn't even realize I think that how tied Vision and uh, and the kids are to the to the actual world that they she created. Yeah. So she opens it up to try to let the people out, which also lets uh, the sword agents in, and then uh, Vision gets beat down, gets a nice <clears throat> uh, big uh, the, the laser blast right from the from the head, yep. which sends him down to the ground, and then she starts to see them start to separate. Which is again another callback to that comic co- uh, cover that we talked about last week with all of the um, the blocks, sept- you know, yeah. coming off of mm-hmm. the car- off of those the movies. House of M one, House of M, yeah, the first yeah. issue, yeah. Which I was at that point, it, it started to make my eyes water a little bit, especially when I saw the kids on the floor. As what? I didn't know at that point if she was going to op- leave it open or or you know let and let them die at that point, or if she was going to close it back up. 
Yeah, there's a couple of points here in the, in this episode that my eyes start to to, to get a little wet. <laughs> I didn't fully cry though. I, I see. I saw I see Craig's Craig, comment. I see Craig right now. <laughs> Fuck you, emotions. <laughs> I put on his uh, reaction yeah. video. Yeah. I was like, whatever. You Tom's, can do it. Tom stamp. It. Come on, George. Yeah. Give us a tear. Come on, man. I know. I don't know, you man. don't you drop here you get back up in there yeah i was like i'm like breathing i stopped breathing for a little bit I'm like, my, yeah. my lips like tucked in and i'm like i'm not gonna try i'm not gonna do it I'm like, like, don't say a word <laughs> why are you crying Daddy? sad moments man yeah. i'm not crying you're crying yeah, yeah. Well, i wouldn't I, I i wouldn't agree i wouldn't agree with you on this like that wasn't a sad moment like the sad moment obviously came Right, later. later. The kids later, were like later, crying, later, and, later. you know, for their mother, man. They're crying to, to, for help. They weren't oh, crying. Sad. They were. They weren't crying. They were just like, "Mom, help." Us. I mean, I get it because then you think about you, like in your mind, you're putting yourself in that situation. Yeah, think about your girls. Yeah, mm. yeah. It was but emotional, actually, man. but then she, uh, yeah, she wound up uh, closing, closing back up the portals so everybody can get back together. I have to drain and, some more of her abilities yeah. after she tries and the, to, to. And then they had the uh, what is it like? Kind of the like incredible the, moment. The, yeah, the actual, I was going to say, like, the actual <laughs> Avengers moment yeah. where it's like, all right, family, let's fight. Yeah, that was incredible. Like, that, Avengers. Was incredibles. that was Incredibles all the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. The whole, the whole, even the whole stance the that hands, Vision had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was like, yeah. so much like that. You well, know? that would make sense then, because, like, if you remember in the other episode, they had the Incredibles playing in the market. Yeah. Yep. You know, yep. so, yeah, I guess that could that was be pretty the, cool. the, the, the drawback to that. Yeah. yeah. And then Wanda's like, you were born for this, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And cool. it's funny too if you think, I, whoa, total total mind fuck right now if you think about it, because the um the the one son Billy was kind of like Dash, and the other son mm. was like Violet, where she had like kind of like the yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the, the the powers and shit. So yeah, yeah there you go. Mm. Yeah. Yep. That's yeah. true. Mind fuck. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very much like the Incredibles when I saw. That's the first thing that came out of my mouth yeah. when I saw. I was like, oh, Incredibles. It's a subtle um, way for Disney to make yeah. you go back and watch Incredibles. Yeah, right? yeah I love it. All, all of a sudden, they just great. needed they needed like the theme music to go. Dah, yeah. dah, dah, dah. right. They yeah, yeah, yeah. The Incredibles. By the uh, way, available on DVD. Yeah, yeah. the commercial <laughs> should have kicked in yeah, right there. Yeah, now streaming Blue on Ray. Disney Plus. Right. Now yep. streaming on Disney Plus. <laughs> Vision should have looked at one that says, "Where is my super suit?" <laughs> they should have. You should have looked at one that been like, "Hey, after this, you want to sit down and watch the Incredibles tonight?" Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. And then the other vision comes in. They go into their fight again. I really like the whole, you know, uh, mind thing that he did with uh, with the old with the the white vision. You know, yeah. Instead Fantastic. of battling him, in yeah, the right? library, it's the setting there, and to break through into the library, you know, the intellectual and all that, the setting yeah. that they did. I thought that was just like good, dude. Good and stuff. it made sense. The whole thing made sense. You know, mm-hmm. it, it, I'm I'm listening to the argument, and I'm like, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Is it the mm-hmm. boat after you replace the planks like that? But right, yeah. then we're left with a question: What happened to the white vision? Well, yeah. After he gives him the memories, then then uh, yeah. You what know, what happened? You don't see him. You don't see him again. That's it. Right. Well, he's got to go think about whether he's got to destroy himself or not. That's that's what I. That's the way I took it. It's like in his mind, he has all of the memories now of Vision. He says, "I am the Vision." So then he's like, "The only way to destroy to destroy or follow the protocol is to destroy himself." So maybe now he has yeah he said my uh, my directive is to destroy the vision. So to back up just ten seconds before that, to me it shows that Vision knows himself. So he's like, I know how this guy's wired. I can beat yeah. him with logic. Yeah, yeah, I can, the, the, I can beat him with reason. That was yeah. a great little back and forth there, man, with himself. Mm-hmm. You know, no wonder he's always wanted to act with himself. So that's where I said earlier <laughs> that, he, yeah, right? that he called himself. He said, "My directive." Uh, I wrote it down. Hmm. My programming directive is to destroy the vision, and vision says I am not the true vision, just a conditional vision. And right. that's whenever he backed up and he said, "Elaborate." Elaborate. You know? Yeah, yeah. So that's where vision got in because he knew himself to know where his weakness was, and that's if you reason with him. Now, he's, do you yeah. do you think that vision is going to actually go destroy himself, or do you think he's just going to go somewhere and no. pout a little bit and? Get I think it. that's what's going. Yeah, because I think he'll be back. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're going to. I don't think they're going to. At the end, himself off. that end scene kind of helps with that. So, all right. Really, you think? I think so. The way their their conversation went before, I didn't. I didn't, I didn't think so at all. 
I didn't uh, think I did. either, I any, like any I conversation had to do with that. But we'll, we'll get into that. We'll, yeah, get, we'll, we'll, dive, so we'll what, dive deeper later on. In the <laughs> so what Seth said of him rocketing out, anybody got a good theory of why he left? Um, wait, so if well, re real vision, if conditional vision unlocks white visions, stored yeah, data. Memory, yeah, the, the memory, yeah. Yeah. And um, I had actually said in one of the forums that he downloaded it, and they're like, "No, he already." He said in the in the yeah, dialogue yeah. that he said you have the memories. It's I said, "Okay, course. unlocked is probably a better phrase." Yeah, right. So he unlocks out of that. Why does he bolt? I think he needs to get more more uh, tangible evidence to support <laughs> the memories that he has. If you, you want, know? if you want, if you want to get real, he had a uh, uh, what I like to call a um, Johnny Five moment. Need input. <laughs> more <Right>. input <laughs> yeah i think maybe that's why he left i think that the thing with him leaving is more about getting hard evidence to go along with the the information that he's seeing in his in his mind at this point number maybe five he's... is alive <laughs> what were you gonna say just like uh just yeah, so... like whenever uh what is it our man says if you throw in one more pop culture reference yes <laughs> 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 he can't help himself. Uh, uh, what were you going to say? He's overwhelmed. You know, like he's um, back to the line in, uh, is it Ultron? Age Ultron, where he says, well, I was born yesterday. Well, yeah. that's the new white vision. I was born like an hour ago. You know, then maybe he's just overwhelmed with the flood that conditional vision just gave him. So he's just like what y'all just said. He's got to escape to process is the only yeah, thing i could think and you can see that even like let's say like with winter soldier right winter soldier at this point in in the in the in the original one in, in captain america and the winter soldier he's doing all these things because of the programming in with him and then he gets his memory sort of back because he meets captain america and then he's probably battling it out with himself that you know one he, he's done some horrific stuff the person that he was doesn't accept that and you know, maybe that's the same thing that, that that's going on with Vision. He just almost tried to kill Wanda and, mm -hmm. you know, and he loves Wanda. And he, and so all of that is flooding in with him. And it's got to be some kind of conflict internally going on. Right. There. So he can't stand to be around there at that moment. So he takes off. Right. So that, that to me seems logical. And cuz plot. Cause yeah, script. Yeah. Page script, yeah. Script. We were, they, all that was missing at the very end was, you know, they will return in whatever, like what they always do in in the other Avengers movies. Um, right. So then it takes us back outside where where uh, it, where Wanda continues her fight with with. Uh, well, she hasn't yet. She disappears. I like the way she disappeared too. She was just like, "I'm out, bitch." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that little... <laughs> Is that before or after the kids are? When she tells that him was, to deal with, that was, deal, you deal with deal the with soldiers. The, right. She said to deal with the soldiers. She goes up there and does that, disappears, and then they deal with the soldiers. And then uh, what's cool about that scene was the son, the one son that's they got the super speed, he does something similar to what uh, Quicksilver did in the um, in the in the X-Men movie, in, in Days, Days of, of Future, Future Past. Man. He steals yeah. the hat of the of the officer. So yeah, yeah, I thought, yeah, yeah. Yeah, thought yeah, that yeah. was that was he's pretty got the neat. glasses on. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah. I thought that was cool. Good catch. Uh, and then Photon. and so your favorite right. go ahead monica when she comes in yeah and, uh, and that and, dude and, is a dick man right dude hey, we're fucking he was, kids. my wife yeah. was like did he just really shoot at those kids <laughs> yeah freaking guy man i was just like kill him kill him and he unloaded the clip too <laughs> yep and then you see uh the abilities of uh of monica who, who's photon right that's her name yeah she absorbed yeah she absorbed yeah. the bullets right Sort of. Like she kind of slowed them down a little bit. So it says they just she turns into light is what she's doing. Yeah, I can't understand how that makes the bullets slow down, though. Yellow eyes. First time we've seen her go yellow. Yeah. Right? right she was kind of like purplish blue before, right? Yeah. yeah well, like know. whenever uh, she takes the, the necklace, uh, it, I think it has to do with like what she's what combating. She's with. Because mm -hmm. whenever she her eyes glowed and she could see that the necklace was the source of... Uh, Ralph's uh, problem or whatever. Right. Mr. Boner. Right. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. But... <laughs> so the only thing I put, it was just like yellow. Why did her eyes glow yellow at that point? You know, why does that have any significance? <laughs> so, 
You can't stay on yeah. track. Santa's yeah. so happy that, about that it. Is horrible. <laughs> Santa's so happy about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, you're right, right? I mean, I think the blue in the eyes is when she goes into that, that mode where she can see in that other spectrum, you know? <laughs> you can't control yourself. I in mean, the, in the mean, show, listen, what was your I mean, favorite part of WandaVision? Boner. Boner. Seth likes Boner. Boner. Ralph. Yeah. Ralph Boner. <laughs> Ralph Boner. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> <laughs> Two thumbs up. Right. It's Thank you, Marvel, giddy, for that it's, little it's, bit. It's, it's, it's amazing how giddy you guys get over a boner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yellow power eyes, why? Yeah, I don't know. It's it's a good question. I don't I don't get I don't get that part at all. Because maybe the happy <laughs> rays maybe the happy rays were coming down from the sun and they just had to change her mood. <laughs> no. I don't know. Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. But the bullets are going bullets. through her. Is it uh, Vision's phasing power? Well, she didn't take phase. They still they wouldn't have slowed down. They would have kept. They would have kept going. right through them. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm just... Some of the things that I watched, they said that part of her power is turning to light. So yeah, she's going into different spectrums, and she can turn change into light, and that's what she was doing. How she, just... how that one got through though, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, she got she got all the other ones, but missed the one. Good thing that kid could stop it. Yeah. Good thing. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. He's like, I got it's... this one. Speed wasn't even worried about it. He's like, I ain't doing nothing. I yeah. just got all the guns. Stand here. Right? He's like, I'm going to learn from my uncle's mistake and not run into the bullets. The bullets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Um, Although he Never. technically could have ran real fast and yeah. just moved all the bullets out of the way. Yeah. Right. We in the Maximoff family try to avoid bullets. Yeah. <laughs> PSA. Um, and then... Uh, uh, the uh, more you know... Hey, hey, <laughs> Hayward tries to get away like a little jerk, and then he gets stopped by Darcy. The only scene that Darcy's in on this last episode. Which was an epic entrance, too, because, yeah. again, who knows how long she was still sitting at that light for before she just finally realized she's Made like, you know what, town. fuck it. And she just mows through whatever's in her way and then just <laughs> just happens to run right into him. I don't yeah, think was he was going to escape. I think he threw it into gear to run over him. Yeah, that could have yeah. been. Yeah. Too, I think that's what he was fixing to do. Yeah, before she... And then he did get hit by a car, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. There you go, there George. You go, George. <laughs> and and at the end, when they wiped it up, it was a big truck. I said right. it was going to be a truck. Right. Right. <laughs> so somebody drop a truck on that dude. Nice. <laughs> right. Hey man, I actually had a prediction that worked. Prophecy <laughs> fulfilled. <laughs> nice man. So uh, then uh, Wanda does the whole voodoo thing to the eyes, which I thought she had her man. You know, it takes her back to that part in in Salem where she's being uh, uh, where she's there with her dead witches. The witches come back to life, which was creepy as shit. And you see the uh, and I love uh, the the I can't think who's the actress's name that plays uh, Agatha. Catherine, Catherine Han. 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 Okay. Yeah. She is an awesome actress. I, yes. I, I like how she's laughing. She, she does the good laugh as the witch. She at the at that scene there, she's uh, freaking out or makes the scene like she's freaking out, and then yeah. all of a sudden you realize. I that, beg you, I beg you, stop. Yeah. yeah. She's not even the one in trouble. You know. Yeah. She's right. like, I'm good here. You know. And and then the uh, the undead witches uh, get turn a hold on, of turn on Wanda turn on yeah. Wanda yeah and strap her to the pole. Um, so I'd like to get, yeah, I'd like to strap Wanda. I, I, I wrong choice of words, Seth. I'm sorry. I, I, I say <laughs> that and I'm like I know I say it and then it's like fuck. It's like Seth is about to say something else. I'm like, <laughs> um, <laughs> tie me up and teach me naughty things. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> naughty, real. Naughty. <laughs> That's not a broomstick. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, then Agnes is like, use all your power. And I kind of was thinking that what was going to happen here was that, that Wanda was going to like give her like all her power and then she was going to like somehow explode for, I, for some reason. I felt I felt like a throw that was like almost like a throwback to the Eric Banner Hulk movie where he's fighting his yeah. dad and he's like, you want all my power? He's take like, are you all. taking it? Yeah, take it all, you know? Yeah. And, you know, and, that, yep. and that's basically what, what, she, what she did, but she outsmarted Agatha and was actually draining Agatha's power, making her think that um, no, she, she was taking Wanda's power. Well, yeah, she was, because... No. After. Way after. Yeah, yeah. Later. 
This is yeah. still the just talking to the witches. I think she's just getting in her head to find out more. You who Agatha or or, or uh, Wanda? Wanda was just getting in her head. I mean, that's what she did the same thing with Tony, right? Yeah, yeah. It's so it's just messing with them and just getting in their because that had to be a freaky moment for. I mean, she, I, I guess she thinks she was in control the whole time, but um, because who knows if she could have drained their powers. Right, she just she happened to do it, and it actually worked. But I think mm -hmm. she was actually scared in the beginning that they were going to kill her. Mm -hmm. You mean in, in that in that actual in the other episode? Yeah. So yeah. then this is kind of a fearful moment for her, even though it turned out whatever. You know, she came, she came out on top, but uh, there's a reason that she went in her head and got to that point and went back to that time. Right. What it is, I don't know. More. Yeah. I don't know. I think that that Wanda. The, the Wanda did that to, to, to see what she feared and then assumed that she had control of her. And then when the witches came back uh, to life and returned on Wanda, Wanda was surprised by that. I don't think she expected yeah. that to happen. So maybe that's what it is, just the, the power, right? She's mm -hmm. she's afraid of not having power. Maybe. Maybe that was the thing that she learned from that. But again, I don't think Wanda expected the witches to turn on her. <laughs> Didn't learn fast enough. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's the first time one of her uh, dream mind things had not to turn back on her. Back, yeah. Backfired on Backfired. her. Right. right. So yeah. Wanda explodes out of there, and then uh, they get into that final battle up in, in the sky. Now, even here, Seth, when you're saying that she was doing what she was doing to drain the power, I don't think that, that, that she was using the, the, the magic throwing at her to distract her because there was a part where she throws a bolt that completely misses uh agatha and agatha looks at it and then looks back at her and like huh i wonder why that missed there was there i knew was a, at that moment yeah, what she, she was doing she, yeah she when, was she, when she did that look i was like wanda's doing the ruins on the wall i knew it right then yeah so i was so, actually i was like i was right <laughs> but then but then that brings that brings us to a a a uh, a possible uh plot flaw mm. because after wanda defeats her takes all her powers from her and then the rose. then she you know and yeah and then she what she does is that she's like oh uh you know she puts her back in the mind that she's gonna be the nosy neighbor forever but then when wanda takes down the the barrier around um westview the ruins should come down too so agatha should be able to get her powers back she didn't no she, she absorbed changed. them all she absorbed them all that's she true. Doesn't she have doesn't any have any anymore. magic. She doesn't have That's it anymore. True. She did to Agatha what Agatha was trying to do to her, and that was steal yep. them all. Right. But right. she did it without killing them. Without yeah, she did it her. to the point without taking you know her, her life, life. Her, yep. her essence. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was awesome. When the runes came up, I was like, oh yeah. And then she got then she got that new costume, which the costume was nice, man. That was pretty cool. Yeah, it's they, like I a mix know. of the two. Well. Do you like the co the new costume or the costume no, of her oh, lying that's in bed? right. We gotta have a poll here. <laughs> <laughs> I George still is like, like oh, the, I'll give her a the poll. Halloween costume. <laughs> right. The Halloween, yeah, right. The Halloween I think looked looked way sexier in my opinion. But I think yeah, that this was a I'll nice meld of the modern. Yeah, it was to mix the modern yeah, it was, it was to it was to mix the modern with the new with the, the old with the new, you know. Yeah. No, it was I to modern, I thought, modernize it. Yeah, I thought it was it was a it was an awesomely designed costume. I thought it was really cool. Um yeah. Stay tuned for George's unboxing video. <laughs> Hot toys. Yeah. You it. know that's coming. You know that's coming. <laughs> oh, so yeah. She walks over to her, and uh, she's like, no, don't do this. And she says something about, like, you're just cruel or whatever yeah. You know, yeah. to, to do this. So she turns her back into cliche, you know, that does all the cheesy 60s line. Still. Agatha, at this point, it, it, it says that you don't know what you've unlocked or what unleashed, you've done. Yeah. Unleashed. Yeah. Unleashed. Unleashed. So and you're gonna you're gonna that. need Yeah. What do you and think that she unleashed? We'll talk about that at the end too. Okay. Well it's a well it's it's probably a power a power that she didn't realize she had. Do you think she's talking about the power that she unleashed in herself, or do you think she's talking about something else that she possibly could have done? I think she's saying you open doorways to Yeah, like Pandora's dark. box. Dark, dark realms and uh, the Mephisto. Multiverse. Craig said. The multiverse. I'm with Craig on that. Okay. Which ties yeah. into the second, which I'm sure Scoop's going to yeah. go to. All right. <laughs> the, uh, it is funny, though, because like she tells her, you know, you're just cruel or whatever. 
and like she was trying to bait her and then tried to uh, make her kill her family mm -hmm. and then trying to and then uh, tell her, you know, if you just do this, then I'll help you. But then tell her that you can't undo this and I can't undo it because it's already been done. And she's the cruel one. Right. 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 I like the smirk she gives her, too, when she says that. Uh, that was neat. Turns her back into the nosy neighbor. And then she uh, walks away with her family. And then... Hold, hold on one second. Right there. Yeah. You, I think... I can't remember if somebody stated it in one of the Facebook chats or if you said it in your reaction. You said, how is she going to keep her there with the hex down? Did you ever That's get a, a theory? Thing. Did you ever get a theory on that? Well, I think that's what uh, what Seth was referring was was referring to that the that she does away with the with the whole realm. How does she keep her there without that? So if she had drained the powers from her, then the hex isn't gonna gonna matter anymore. It's not needed. Right. I think it's right. because um, remember when she was talking about her and she's like, "How are you doing all this? You know, even controlling the people on the edge." Now she's even more powerful than she was. Right. I think so that's, that's the key right there. That And now she, I mean, this is just one person. I'm sure she can keep her there. And it's like not even a thought. Right. So whenever she did the touch and turned Hulk crazy and Ultron, where mm -hmm. you get the uh -huh. Hulkbuster battle, I think that's exactly right. And that's what I was going to say, Frankie, is that she's more powerful now. So she, and she, she made this statement. I wrote this down. She said, you live here now and then touched her head. Yeah. Right. You live here now. So she was just planning that. And now she don't even have to worry about her. So she's gotten powerful enough. She can basically brainwash and zombie out somebody without even thinking but about did she? it. What about that last line that Agatha gives her? She's yeah, like, yeah. You know, I'll be, you know, I'll be seeing you. She's not if I see you not first. Not see you first. Right. Yeah. You know? Yep. That makes me wonder if that there's a little bit of Agatha that still knows, you know, yeah. so or, she's just going along with it. I mean, any good villain, they're going to think ahead, right? So yeah. if if I'm going to get taken down, which most villains do, i got to have a backup plan to get me out of it. Right. Hmm. Yeah, that, yep. that's cool. Yep, yep. So, um, so the, it, it, Wanda leaves with her family, and they go back to the house. Super sad ending. Um, that, whole, that whole final, uh, when she says goodbye to the kids, and she says, thank you for choosing me. Um, that, all that was, was super emotional. You know, I don't know how I kept myself from crying, but that was that was pretty sad. <laughs> said uh, Vision uh, Bethany said as they were still in the town square, he said, "It looks like a fixer upper or something." But not happened, for us, yeah, not for us. Mm -hmm. And the expression she made there, I was like, "Oh man, dagger through the heart, not for yeah. us," you know. And she kind of teared up, you know, or whatever. There, it's like from there on. Go ahead. I was just saying from there on, I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah it, was, it, was all, it was all sad at that point, man. She yeah, just gave us sure. one little cute face when she sees the kids, you know, one more time. But then everything else after that, I was just like, oh, this is yeah, when, <laughs> yeah, when she said goodbye to the kids, that kind of like that, mm -hmm. that kind of like hit me. I was like, yeah. oh, no, I was like, kids. even, even the talk nothing. between her and Vision, even the talk between her and Vision, because then Vision was like, you know, I've been a voice without a body, which was referring to him as Jarvis. Yep. Uh, and then he I've been became, a body but not human. You're right, which was vision when he when he when he came out. Um and then you know he's he then the thing is he's like uh we've said goodbye before, you know, which stands to reason that we can mm -hmm. we'll say hello again. All of that was And like, that wow. right there is what I'm talking about where he can come back where that's where he comes back. Is yeah. because that line right there. Well right. that too because she doesn't know and she also doesn't know that he transferred Back, back. Right. I mean, we call it a yeah. memory thing, but I'm thinking like he transferred his consciousness to that white, that white vision, and that, like you guys said, he just went away maybe to process what, what happened. So how is you know, he in I'm, the comics? Anybody know? Is well, they had the what is it? The white uh, the, vision? They had the, uh, the the West Coast Avengers was the. He's uh, just uh, like soulless. He's just uh, he literally the only the only thing I really know about him is I, I know there's this one panel where he's like telling Wanda. I know I look like Vision, but I'm no longer your husband. Mm -hmm. And boys, I'm no longer your father. And she's holding the kids crying. And she said, you used to be so kind. In the last panel, he says, is not the truth kind. Right. That's the only like thing wow, I know. That's pretty cold. Yeah, he's just, he <laughs> yeah, is <laughs> totally black and white. There's no, <laughs> like Red Vision has emotions and, you know, the tears and all that is in the mm -hmm. comics. But the white vision is just, I don't know if he remains that the entire story. But why, uh, 
why wouldn't Vision tell her that you hey there's not the other Vision is out there and has the memories, you know? For so all, the, for all Wanda, for all Wanda's no, Wanda knows he destroyed the other Vision. Yeah, but he didn't tell her. He didn't say. Yeah, exactly. So obviously that's the plot hole for the story with the White Vision to continue. Well, I wouldn't call it some, a plot hole. But eh, like, it, well, it's it's a way it's a way for them to continue with the story or bring back the character if if needed. They left it open. Yeah, it's an open. It's open ended. Yeah. I mean, yeah, um, to me, it seems like from where they regrouped uh, and walk into the house, that's a little bit of a walk. They're going to be talking. So yeah. I would think she would ask, hey, what happened with your white self? Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's a question that comes up. <laughs> you were fighting with the other vision. What happened to him? What happened, yeah, right? just all of a sudden yeah. stop. Hey. Yeah. yeah. She's like, hey, what happened when you guys were playing with yourselves? <laughs> 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 um, yeah, what would you like to know? <laughs> so before I forget it, we give a ton of praise to Olsen, and she totally deserves it. We give a ton yep. of praise to Han; she totally deserves it. Bethany killed it in this, also. Yeah, yeah, he did. I mean, to Absolutely. to play an emotionless robot, you know, or this logical Spock type persona, and. He was given beautiful lines, you know, uh, the writing of the, of his dialogue, but his delivery of it was superb. Right. Yeah. No. Absolutely. All, all the actors did a great job. Um. So then, then you see Wanda leaving, uh, or Wanda goes to leave town, and she has the whole walk of shame through the town, and everybody's like looking at her, like, you know, bitch, you you put me through all this stuff. Yeah. Um. She had that one last interaction with uh, Monica. Monica. Yeah. yeah, Monica lets her know that you know she understands, but she would have done the same thing had given the power. She would bring her mother back. Um, that was I, I literally went yes because I've said that for the last yeah, few episodes. I kept saying have. if we were had the ability to play God, we would yeah. change things, and it probably wouldn't turn out well. When, when right. she said that line, I literally went yes, and Jen was looking at me like, "What was that?" <laughs> yeah, and Craig's like, "Oh, nothing." Yeah. <laughs> Which anyway, I don't know why she walks through the town to even begin with. She could fly. So she ends up flying yeah. away anyway. But you know, I guess like you guys they, said the script uh, called for her walking through the town. Yeah. yeah. And then they and then they get the get them uh, arresting arresting Hayward. Hayward. Yeah. You know. Which is yeah, great. That, that was I think that's part of the end credit scene. The mid the mid end credit scene, you see Hayward being arrested. Uh, yeah. John Wu is or is uh, now Jimmy heading Wu. up the whole thing. Jimmy Wu. Um and uh and then you get that whole scene where uh, where, where, where Monica's drawn into the uh, or dragged into the uh, movie theater, theater by what we think is an agent and then it ends up being a scroll. Did you see the so, title of the theater? No, that's or what the, I was going to ask. I didn't catch that. What was it? The Great and Powerful Oz. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's funny, but she's about to reveal herself. And then, uh, yeah, and uh, Sam Raimi, who's directing Doctor Strange 2, was the one who directed that. Oh, no shit. That's cool. Didn't catch that. He's, yep. he's directing the new uh, Doctor Strange. Doctor movie, Strange. Right? Yep. Yep. Cool. Um, the the tie in there is that going to be for the Captain Marvel movie with Monica or what? Where are we I going believe with that so. One? Yeah, because yeah. she's talking, she's telling about Fury, right? Yeah. Is that yeah, what she, she was talking about? Yeah, yeah I think that's she's telling Doctor Fury. Well, be, well, because we saw because what we we saw at the end of Spider Man Far From Home that the end credit scene that Fury was in was in space with the scrolls with the scrolls. Yep. He was in space with the scrolls. Yeah, yeah, that was an end credit. That was an end credit. Laying on a beach. Yeah, laying on the beach, and he yeah walked out, and he walked because out. If you, because life. if you remember, if you remember at the end of, of Far From Home Two, uh, Nick Fury and, and uh, Maria Hill are driving in the car, are, and then they yeah. change back into the scrolls, into the and scrolls. they're like, "Oh, you're going to need to call him and tell him what ha tell him what happened." Right. And then it cuts to them calling Nick Fury, and Nick Fury sitting on the beach. And he's like, okay. He's like, well, we got to get right. back to work then. And he's and like, he's oh, on... so much for a vacation. And then he gets yeah. up, and then he sees every he's on all the shows and in the spaceship. He's on yeah. the ship. That's right. That's right. Yep. yep. Good. Good. Thing. That's so, in the Spider-Man so, movie. So yeah. So that's gonna lead. Yeah. So I agree. That's gonna lead in probably to like the second Captain Marvel movie. Yep. And then we'll okay. get some answers about why she's got stink eye whenever they bring up Captain Marvel. Yeah. Well, do you think it could tie into Spider-Man at all? Considering that that end credit scene was at the end of Spider Man, could that no, be I, no, mm -hmm. no? Okay, no, I don't. I I, th I think she has obviously the stink eye from from um, to Captain Marvel because of what happened with her mom. But I do think that uh, 
in a way it can tie to Spider-Man. And that's all on the next scene as well. <laughs> okay. Second end credit scene, you, you're you're in this uh, lake, which I, which I made kind of a joke about it being Akali Lake, because I was like, oh, it'd be kind of cool if we get a little Wolverine te- uh, tease here, since we didn't get any X-Men or mutants in this at all, which a lot of people were upset about that. I, I saw a lot of comments about, about you know, they they said that, you know, we, we all kind of hoped that it would be a tie yeah. into the mutants, but it didn't. Um, but I was fine with it. And then Did we you see notice the fly in there was weird? The fly? The fly how, in. How the, the scene, how it goes into It was real the, shaky. It was her. weird. No, I didn't catch that. Rewatch Like it, something the, was flying okay. into it. Yeah, it was not like a smooth helicopter shot or a smooth drone. It was almost like a... Like if you were a spirit or something flying to a right, spot. Right, right, right. Hmm. It was very unusually done. I got to check that out. I got to check and that out. And I don't out. think it was an accident. Um, um, you see Wanda uh, get, getting some coffee and she has herself in like the spectral version similar to like what, what Doctor Strange does and mm-hmm. they're even playing uh, a, a version of the Doctor Strange theme song at, at, at the end yep. uh, and she's doing she's reading the dark home and learning more about her powers and all that and then she hears her kids that's a question I have so if the kids were manifested you know in that realm and they're not real who's, what kids is she hearing here so I still think it's probably going to be a Mephisto tie-in at some yep. point. Yep, I think okay. so. Either Mephisto or Nightmare player, I think involved now. Mm-hmm. So, now, I'll go now, ahead, Seth. Now, the one thing I was kind of disappointed was is that, and I'm sure most people were disappointed in it, that we didn't get a a Doctor Strange sighting, you know, to help tie into the movie because we know she's going to be in in that movie. So, like, it would have been, you know, I mean, the only real, the only two references we really got were when they, like Frankie said, when they mentioned Sorcerer Supreme, and then also, and then also when her, when she was going through the book, you know, obviously going through the book, and she was in that trance while, you know, like, Doctor Strange was, like, he was sleeping, but he was actually, oh, the Astro Projection is what they call it. Yeah, the, uh, Astro, you, not you know, Astro, yeah, sorry. Yeah, the Astro. Astro, the Astro Projection, and, you know, he's sleeping, and he's sitting there reading the mm-hmm. book while he's sleeping so that's basically like she was astro projected herself drinking you know drinking coffee and whatnot but she was actually like you know reading the reading the book and all that stuff to learn more about the spells and and stuff that are in there actually if you think about it it's even like they're going back to her being stronger than the than the uh, sorcerer supreme um both with uh with the sorcerer supreme and with uh, uh dr strange when they project themselves into the astral plane their bodies are kind of like just you know meditating or, or like in a in a stop motion. Yeah. yeah, she has herself on autopilot. Like she's yeah, like, okay, she, you like, know. you're drinking a cup of coffee. Yeah, like right. carrying on with normal day to day function. Right. So she can like do two things at once. That's pretty neat. Um, but Agatha said, "You're more powerful than the Sorcerer yeah. Supreme." So uh, that was cool. So I uh, took it as putting all the pieces. What Frankie said is that Agatha telling her, uh, she actually said twice, "You don't know what you've done, and you don't know what you've unleashed." And then you get to that end scene. It sounds like the kids are in pain or in peril. Because yeah. they're like, help us, mom. You know, it's distress. It's not just like, where are you type thing. So I take it as she's unlocked hell, so to speak. You know, the plane of, I don't know if M- Mephisto or Nightmare lives in a little hell type plane in, in the Marvel Universe. But she's unlocked that dimension that they live in to allow them to cross in. So how, how does the, she, I, I think the kids literal were a little creation. So she created them within the hex thing there, but I think they were real to an, they, uh, even though they perished with the hex collapsing, their well, soul, we, didn't, their, we, we didn't see that, but we didn't see yeah, them. Yeah, we didn't so. see it happen. We didn't see it That's happen. Kind of what I'm thinking, too. So I'm wondering yeah. if maybe, I'm wondering maybe if... They got um, smashed out. Tom, no, no, if Tommy had a way, because remember, he had some of those abilities, if he had a way to do something... You think you know, he would where, 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 Yeah, where he could protect him and, him and Billy, mm-hmm. you know? Because the one thing that didn't make any sense is like they're laying there in bed, and then when they go downstairs and start talking, that thing obviously hasn't hit the house yet. Mm-hmm. The hex collapsing, and how he was so in tune with uh, his dad being in distress. Vision's got to be in some sort of distress about what's fixing to happen. You think he would be in tune with that, right. and maybe he saved him and his brother. I don't know. 
Hmm. I didn't get. I didn't think about that. You're right. They didn't show it. You know how it is with film. If you don't see it on camera, it didn't happen. <laughs> right. right. Hmm. So the whole thing with the. Did, have you guys read anything on the dark hold? No. So go ahead. We need to learn. <laughs> All right. So apparently, uh, it was created by this like massive elder god known as Cthone. Okay. And uh, it was done in a chamber called the Darkhold inside this mountain range of Wondergore, which is okay. probably that mountain range at the end scene. Okay. And uh, so what it is, it's it's his conduit to come back into this, this earth. And there was a bunch of worshippers called the Darkholders, and a very original name there. But um, my Spider-Man tie-in is they're very enamored with Carnage. Mm -hmm. So I think at some point we may get a Carnage. But carnage. I think this thing is bigger about it's Cthone that's uh, the bigger picture of what Doctor Strange is going to be dealing with. Because hmm. this thing's like real powerful. And it's okay. like like from the dawn of time type old. Hmm. And it's so like, I... it's just pure evil. So she's sitting in there reading this book. And then when you go through reading on it, uh, I'll just read you this thing real quick. But it says on the very night of this battle, a woman named Magda, uh, she sought refuge at the high evolutionary Citadel and she gave birth to twins who later became known as Quicksilver and the Scarlet Witch. And Cthone had imbued the newborn infant Scarlet Witch with latent potential for using magic. I don't think that's her parents that she remembers. I think that maybe what she remembers as being her parents, but I don't think that's them. Hmm. And because remember, she was using a power to keep that bomb from exploding. Right. Hmm. She just had in immature powers. Right. It wasn't developed yet. And then obviously, it's just like with the mutants, right? That later on, it's some traumatic event or puberty that ends up. Yeah, triggering it. it yep and so uh but Cthone, you start reading a, a lot on him and there's a whole bunch of tie-ins you can see fixing to happen and it's, even with the dark hole so this thing that dark hole is like the center of everything going on that's gonna be like the new infinity stones thing that yeah type covering. thing that's what i would think hmm. and so then it gets into the high evolutionary so then you got um uh what's the the big beans movie that's come to eternals the Eternals. So I bet that ties in here somehow. I haven't gotten to read it yet, but um, and there's these half animals that they talk about. So remember, I was asking questions about the tiger and all this other stuff that's laying around. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if maybe that ties in, but uh, you can definitely see avenues that they would have just off of the dark hold and with what we saw in One Division. I gotta read more on that. Now I gotta go read. It's on the. <laughs> uh, the marvelfandom.com site. Okay. So That's when where I, I'm getting a lot of this information from. Let me see if I can re-clarify what I said a little while ago, because y'all kind of did the what thing. So what Frankie just said about they opened a portal or whatever for Cthone or whatever to go in. So whoever the baddie is, Mephisto, Nightmare, this Cthone or whatever like that, has to live in a dark dimension, correct? Right. Yeah. Wherever, wherever or a yep. different lives in a different dimension. Different yep. dimension. In other words, we've established that the dark hold is evil, that it comes from a dark dimension, etc. So we hear the kids. So whatever has form of them is still, whether they're a hundred percent as they were spirit, whatever, maybe it's Mephisto nightmare or Cthone has them, you know, and then that's who's, you know, how the villain and Dr. Strange is going to tie in more. And maybe that's what it is. He's got them. He's wanting to way back in. So get her to open it up for him so he can come back in with the promise of giving her kids back. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's what she's Agatha studying saw. this book by herself. And she's like having no training. Yeah. I know. So at first I thought maybe she had, you know, like that was, um, you know, whatever happens in Dr. Strange 2 takes place before this. But that's not really how the Marvel stories have gone. Right. And uh, so she's sitting there reading this book by herself with no training. And like, right. this is like the worst book of evil in the Marvel universe. Right. And we learned from Dr. Strange that if you don't, you don't read it all the way through, you know, the warnings come at the end. Right. 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 right, right. <laughs> so in the comics, uh, the kids come from Mephisto and they go back to Mephisto. 
So that's why I was tying in that whole. And that's what it may be because another one that came through, um, I can't remember his name right now. They brought up another uh, demon, and it's the one that um, that took uh, Kitty Pride and Magic. So they talk about that in there too. Okay. Whenever she I, became I just, Magic. Yeah, I, I don't even know that one. That, that's not. Oh, one. really? That was a yeah. good story. That was a real good story. Okay. So like, she was down there for thirty years. No. 15 years or something like that. It was over 10 years, but it was only a few seconds when she came back. Okay. And then she ended up taking it over. So like magic is real powerful too. Hmm. Oh, okay. So, uh, I mean, Colossus, magic Colossus is, just, isn't that that yeah, realm that she sister. opens up that she, uh, that she doesn't like going to or that she, uh, that's like hell yep. almost. Yep. Okay. Yep. Hey, Liana. Yeah. Liana. Right. Um, hmm. that's a lot yeah, of process. Read that. I'll send you the link, and then okay, it's a good read. All right, I'll check that out. That's pretty good. So overall, man, I, you know, like I said before, I thought that that uh, this last episode tied everything up. At least for me, gave me the, uh, the 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 thing that I thought was missing from most of the rest of the show. And now that I've seen it and you you and and assess it as a whole, I think that the this entire show was was great. And I really hope that Marvel sees this and, and then possibly, like what Frankie said at the beginning, um, has a way of making these these origin stories or maybe like even like their their single uh, uh, adventures into these uh, TV shows. Because I feel like you get a lot more information, you know, like uh, Iron Man was was it was a great, great movie. And, and I brought this up with with uh, with late, earlier with with Craig um, that I felt like the reason why we we were sad when Iron Man died was because we went for the through the hero's journey after for like ten years or plus. Right. And we had three Iron Man movies, the Avengers movies, all that stuff had uh, uh, Tony at the at the center or part at least close to the center of everything. And um, and when he finally died, it, it made it much more heartfelt. Um, how much more emotional would that have been? You know, had you had you know eight to to thirteen episodes, you know, possibly half hour to an hour long of you know tony becoming iron man you know and then uh in the second movie the, the things that happened in that one same thing kind of more drawn out and giving you more information you know i mean like even do net like you can take uh quicksilver right do right. this story first then do age of ultron and that's a more me you know that you yes. feel that death more yeah exactly really when it happens you're just kind of like well that sucks Exactly. Like he was I, only there for a little bit. I said last week, I don't know if you saw it, Frankie. I said the only reason I cared about Quicksilver dying is Wanda's reaction to it. Yep. Right. Other than that, okay. <laughs> yeah, but even then, it's like Wanda at that point in the in the story wasn't even to me such a, a fleshed cruel, out character. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. That like yeah. when she like I understood what she was feeling. But I was like, okay, you know, not nothing big. Let's keep moving on, you know. There were still very, very minor characters as far as this whole story because we have been with all these other ones for so long that these were the new people. It's like, eh, you ain't going to yeah. be here for too long. I mean, yeah. I didn't expect them to last as long as they have, to be honest. Right. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Um, Doctor Strange, same thing. Like, I, I, after I finished this last episode of WandaVision, I went back to watch Doctor Strange. Still a good movie. I still enjoyed the movie. But I felt like it would have been better if it had been drawn out into eight to ten episodes where you actually had him learning how to use the abilities instead of just this quick montage of him. Yes. You know, yes. You know, right. I like to see some kind of prodigy and just winds up because he's I mean, he's just he's really smart. And it's one of those it's in the in the stone, so to speak. Yeah. But, well, um, that was well, that was also the thing that uh, the Sorcerer Supreme said in Endgame that, you know, Stephen Strange was meant to be the best of us. Right. You know, when she's talking about the whole soul stone and all the stones with uh, with Hulk. You right. Know? So she said that, yeah, straight, you know, so Strange was meant to be the best of us. So obviously he gave the stone away for a reason, you know, a reason. Right. But right. I mean, right. you know, even when he when he got turned to dust, you know, there was not there was not as much of a feeling for that, you know, as there could have been had you had a longer journey with him where you can flesh out the character more. Uh, yep. Captain Marvel. Is is a, is not a bad movie. It's not a great movie. It's a hard Could movie. it have been better if you had more more to to dig into with it? You know, where you actually felt the reason why she is Ooh. the way she is. You know, I still feel that that was a. I still feel that Captain Marvel was just a filler movie, just so 
the the um, the purpose of her showing up in Endgame made sense. But would it have had that same type of feeling if you had eight to ten episodes of flesh out her? Up. I, I don't I don't know if they could have done that with her. To be honest with you. Yeah, I think they could have. I don't think they could have done. I didn't think they were going to be able to do it with Scarlet Witch. Yeah, exactly. And they mm-hmm. did it. You know, so I, you know, I think, the, and the Guardians of the Galaxy. I think Guardians of the Galaxy was a great movie. It was funny, and I enjoyed it a lot. Guardians of the I, Galaxy was probably one of the most underrated Marvel movies of, of all. When they because announced people, that, I was like, yeah. "What?" Yeah, because people were like, "Wow, this cast makes no sense." <laughs> right. Yeah. And, 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 you know, but they found a way to pull it together and make it a very good. Probably it was. One of the, it was very one entertaining. Of the, one of the better Marvel movies. It was. It was very entertaining, very fun. I think still, if you had that drawn out more, then I think it would be even better. You know, because part I think two this was okay. Is the way, yeah, I think this is the way that they should be making. Uh, uh, he liked that. <laughs> uh, I knew it the minute you said it. I was like, you can't make I, it through a show without a Star Wars reference. <laughs> He's like, yeah, this, this is the is way. This is how they should do origin stories. <laughs> I think so. It really and is. then. And then have your your major get-togethers like Avengers or major get-together, major battles, Avengers, uh, Age of Ultron, um, the the End Game, and, and Infinity War. Like right. that's culmination where you of com- the whole story. Yeah, you combine yeah. together for one major so battle. You're you're missing one key element to this whole to this whole thing, and it has nothing to do with setting up stories or anything like that. It has to do with budget. For them, it makes more sense to budget for a movie. To get these guys for maybe a couple of movies, which they could pay them millions of dollars to do this, rather than pay them millions of dollars over a course of X amount of episodes. It, it's more fiscally sound to do it in a movie than it is spanning it across. A, How you know, are they making money series. off the TV show? Well, uh, Craig's not in his head. Either Craig's not in his head with me because he's agreeing with me, or that ain't it. I don't, I don't think it's it either. I think the movies have the same amount of production value. Come on, Craig. No, I just made one agreeing with them. Uh, I don't know what the budgets, but I, I was saying that's plausible that the budgets, you know, force them to it, do certain things. Right. I think the budget for making uh, a, a WandaVision into a two-hour movie versus drawing it out for four hours is that much more? I mean, I, well, think, I think they would I don't cost know. less. I don't know. We'll, th- right. we'll, we'll, think, we'll think about it. Think about how much money she got made, paid for those Avengers, you know, for those Avengers movies, which were maybe what two and a half hours total running time, and took you know months months to shoot. Whereas you know the budget for the TV show, they probably filmed that in a course of maybe a shorter amount of time, and you know, and had to pay them, you know, and had to pay them uh, more more money because well, how are again, they making again, money from you're the a movie, shows? you're a movie, you're a movie star. Going to TV, whenever there's that that transition, the movie star always wants more money to be on TV than to actually be in a movie. I don't know. I've seen a lot of actors that like being like doing TV better because then they can be home more. Yeah, well, yeah, because there's season. Yeah, there's well, well, that's not entirely true because if you think about it, if you know a see, it depends because how long does it take them to film a season? Whereas you know they're only needed on set for X amount of days. You know, at a, at a time in reality, you know. See, so see, my my thing is, is that this isn't a TV show like like Friends, right? This isn't something that's gonna come on for like thirty episodes or twenty four episodes. <laughs> twenty. <laughs> Why do I mention things that Dick's gonna accept do things he does? Uh, anyway, uh, it's not that type of show. You're not having a half hour long twenty four uh, uh, twenty four uh, episode season where you got people coming to work every single day to do, or for you know um, a given year to shoot this. This is going to be more similar to shooting like a movie, you know, where they they have everybody there for this given amount of time. Let's shoot this entire thing, and then everything is done. I think very similarly to a movie, except that you have breaking points. I, I don't think there's really much difference in the budget for making a, a, a TV show that's this short, you know, as opposed to a movie. But how do they make money on a TV show like on this? I mean, I get the subscriptions, but other than that, where's money coming from? Because it's not like they have commercials, so there's no endorsements there. And then I get like the movies, because then you know, theaters well, think are paying about, well, to have the movie there. Well, think about it. What do they charge? Like ten bucks a month for for um, Disney Plus? Yeah, right. but I don't. So, I can't so see that. So hundred, you get you get you know over a yeah, million people. That. You know that's you know how many months did did uh, WandaVision run? Uh, two. Uh, so no three. Two what is it, March and a half. Yeah, about two and a half months somewhere. Yeah. 
two and a half months. So we'll just say three months. You know, if if they if they get three months, so you got thirty thirty dollars. Well, how much is the subscription for Disney Plus right now? Ten bucks. Seven bucks. I think seven it's bucks. Like ten, bucks. Yeah, something like that. Ten dollars. So we we'll say thirty thirty dollars is what they get per household instead of uh, fifteen dollars per head to go see the movie. Um, so you have that. So you uh, so they, I don't know how how many people are subscribing versus how many people are going to a to a theater. So you have that part is your income. You have merchandising. This is a, you, you're gonna make toys Merch- out of every of these people. Merchandising. Merchandising. <laughs> merchandising. We got WandaVision the flamethrower. <laughs> <laughs> and you gotta fi- you gotta figure that they're they're in hopes that you're not just gonna watch WandaVision, that you're gonna go and take and check other things out on their on their uh streaming service. Yeah. Mm. So Well, that's yeah. why they're sitting there spacing that out, like you said before, you know. Yeah. Uh every you know, every week there's gonna be something new coming out, so and it's still, I think, even going to make it uh, more. Uh, you may even get more fans out of it. It's busy. Okay, so hear me out with this one. You have the TV show playing on, on Disney Plus. It's playing for for whatever. You're paying your monthly fee. You're getting it. Getting to watch this for free, right? Your average, say, the, a person that doesn't go watch uh, the Marvel movies, you know, has kids. They watch Disney Plus for the cartoons. He comes and sits on the couch. I got nothing to watch. I'm going to watch WandaVision. He gets into it and says, man, this is pretty dope. You know, he watches the other Marvel stuff. Now they're taking and they're also making the movies still. You may get that person that wouldn't ordinarily go to go see a, a, a movie at the theaters. is definitely going to go to the theaters now. It's because they want to see how the story continues. Right. You know. Uh, and then for the rest of us, we definitely want to go to the theater to see what the hell happens. But when Doctor Strange comes out, I need to know where the story goes, you know. Um, so do you realize in your entire thing that you just started this whole tirade, you kind of like uh, argued what I was saying a couple weeks ago that putting more action to this is not they're trying to tell a story and the yeah. more action is robbing from what they're trying to accomplish you know so let, let's pull a yoda moment here now at the end you see <laughs> <laughs> now see you <laughs> but uh, uh, that, that's actually mute I don't think Frankie realizes yep. he was. There moving. we go. Oh. Yeah, he does now. <laughs> he's like he's like doing hand gestures and his mm-hmm. mouth's moving. And I'm like Frankie. But you know, um, <laughs> in the overall picture, so like there was parts where you know people, were, George, and you, that it was one or the other, right? Oh, there's too much dialogue, or there's not enough fighting. Right. And um, but in the overall picture, it's all balanced. It is. Mm-hmm. It's That's very what I'm saying. Balanced. This, it's a very balanced show. This last episode really gave you all of that battle that you were missing mm-hmm. in, in in all of the other episodes so it balanced right. everything out but so the, yeah, I agree. so all the it needs x-men it needs uh multiverse it needs dr strange it needs mephisto blah 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 the well, show I mean, yeah, wasn't about bad. that the show was about wanda dealing with the loss and grief to give you that you identify with these two characters you True. know going forward that's what the writers were trying to do they killed it in yeah. my opinion yeah, I agree. I agree. I don't think people would gripe so much if they just came out with more information just for us to know, hey, we are working on this. Right now, all this X-Men talk would go under if they would if they announced a cast. Yeah. They did announce the title. I don't like the title so much. But, you know, we'll see. Maybe it's just a working title. <laughs> right. Calling it the mutants. The mutants. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, that's that's it, I think. Unless you guys got anything more to say about WandaVision. No, we're, we're good. Yeah, we're let's good. keep we're talking. Good. No, we're good. Let's keep talking. Yeah, we're, we're good. good. We're good. I see Seth's we face, have, and I'm just like happy. We have to end with we'll Seth here forever. Right? What was it? What was the greatest? I think moment? he deserves it. I think he deserves it. It's because he answered that's the phone I, that's in the what, middle of our chat. That, you know, that's when. That's when I'm just like, all right, fuck you guys. I'm out. And then you get up and walk <laughs> off. And then you hear me go, "Hey, <laughs> Seth, what was the greatest moment in Wandavision? Boner. Hmm. Ralph Boner. Ralph Boner. Seth Simple. He just needs a boner. So overall <laughs> rating for everybody, just ten out of ten. I thought oh it was yeah, cool. I would. I yeah, I I agree. Ten out of ten. Yep. Awesome show. Yep. If you haven't, if you haven't checked out the show yet, and you're watching this, I don't know why. Yeah, what fucking rock have you been living under? I know you should. You should really watch it. I really think. <laughs> I really think you should get other people to watch it too. Try to get your friends involved in it because it's it's a great show. I think it's awesome. Yeah, let's just give Disney things. more money. So go go subscribe to Disney right. Plus. Go give them more money. Yeah. We'll get more give shows. Them, right? Give the give the mouse more money so he can get more of a monopoly. Think, yeah, man. We need to get we need to show them that we like this so that we keep getting more of it. You know. Yeah, that, yep. that's one of I'm my favorite for. things that they've done. Like yeah, even movies. You know, one of my yeah. favorite. Yeah, really good. 
So in the chat, guys, let us know what you thought about the latest episode. If we missed anything, please let us know also. And stay tuned uh, next week. I think we're going to do... Are we going to do a, a, a discussion about the about the making of it? You want to do that? Yeah, as yeah, long as Seth beats beforehand. Yeah, we definitely got to let Seth before that. Because then, you know, he just becomes a big baby and complains. Yeah, so... <laughs> And then I get it, and then I get a boner. Yeah. <laughs> he got a Ralph. Anyway, he got a Ralph. Ralph. <laughs> Look at a Ralph. <laughs> Ralph. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for joining us. Until next time, keep it marvelous. <laughs>